Order of operations is a topic that really trips up students, even the high achieving students. It's a topic that's easy to make a mistake within if you're not careful. So I want to give you an approach that you can use no matter how hard the question looks. And I haven't started off easy. There's gonna be three questions we're gonna cover in this video. And even the first one is fairly tricky. The one you can see at the top on the screen. As with any question you see today, feel free to pause the video and try the question yourself before you see my explanation. So what's this approach that we're gonna to do to answer these questions? Well, let's take a look at the question we're dealing with. What is the value of five times two cubed minus two times three plus one in brackets squared? There are so many options of where we could start. Do we do five times two equals 10, for example? Well, as I've written at the bottom, we don't just start at the front and work forwards. That's what a lot of students would do. They'd do five times two is 10, and then maybe they would do 10 cubed. That's a mistake. So what order should we use? And let's clear up any confusion we have. I obviously didn't invent this, but we're gonna follow PEMDAS, with each letter standing for a different operation that we do to the sum. By the way, an operation is something like add, divide, times, power, etc. That's why we call it the order of operations that you're gonna do something in. Starts off with parentheses, P for parentheses, which means brackets. Now, many of you have also heard of bod mass, and it's the exact same thing that ends up with the exact same result. PEMDAS tends to be more American, bod mass more European and Asian. And you may even have been taught a different acronym. It all ends up at the same result. We start with parentheses, we start with the brackets. That's the first thing we need to do in order. You need to calculate the bracket first. Once you've calculated any sum involving the bracket, we then move on to the exponents. In bod mass, that's the order, the power. An exponent is like squared or cubed, for example. Then we move on to multiplication, anytime you see a times, then division, then addition, then subtraction. Now, some of you, some of you astute students are gonna put your hand up and say, but if the other acronym is bod mass, doesn't that mean the division comes before the multiplication? Well, the honest truth is when you're looking at multiplication slash division, it actually doesn't matter the order between those two. Same thing with addition and subtraction. The last two, it doesn't matter the order. It's just the overall structure you need to follow. First parentheses, then exponents, then either multiplication, then division, or division, then multiplication, doesn't matter. And finally, at the end, addition, subtraction, or subtraction, addition, doesn't matter. So it's the general structure that we're gonna follow, just to answer those students who wonder about the difference between bod mass and PEMDAS. Either way, let's see this in action, because actions speak louder than words. So we have this sum that you can see at the top. Where do we start? We start with the brackets. Notice we have a three plus one in the brackets. So we calculate that first. We prioritize it because it's in the brackets. Three plus one is of course four. So now we write it with a four there instead. What should we do next? Should we do the timesing maybe? Five times two and two times four? No. We do the exponents, the little powers. So we do two cubed and four squared. Those are the numbers that have an exponent, so those are the sums we calculate first. Two cubed, by the way, doesn't mean two times three, it means two times itself three times. In other words, two times two times two, which is eight. Four squared doesn't mean four times two, it means four times itself twice, so four times four, giving us eight and 16 respectively. A final opportunity for a mistake. Do we do the subtraction next? like the eight minus two, for example, to get six in the middle? No, we do multiplication next. Subtraction is last. So doing the two multiplications, five times eight is 40, and two times 16 is 32. Leaving us finally with the subtraction. 40 take away 32 is of course eight, so the answer is B. That's the structure to follow. Prioritize the brackets, then the powers, then multiplication slash division, and finally at the end, addition slash subtraction. Don't just start at the front and work forwards, prioritize the sums you're gonna do, because that's the only way to get the answer correct. Okay, let's move on to a more interesting example. Here we go. 
what is the value of negative four times six divided by two plus five minus two in brackets four minus one? Do you wanna try this one yourself? Or if you're still feeling not confident, you can watch me do it and you could try the final one on your own. First things first, we memorize PEMDAS so we know that parentheses or brackets comes first. The only thing in a bracket here is four minus one, which is three. Next, we do exponents, but there aren't any, so we move on to multiplication. Now, here's where I want to quickly point something out. Many of you might be saying, well, do I do 6 divided by 2 first or the negative 4 times 6? As I said earlier, the multiplication and division are basically the same, so it doesn't actually matter. You get the same result. For example, we're going to start with multiplication here just to demonstrate. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, and then we divide by 2. So you get negative 12. But if we'd done the division first, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. You end up with the same result. So it really doesn't matter. So you might as well follow the PEMDAS structure, doing multiplication first. So doing that, negative 4 times 6 is, as I've said, negative 12. And look at the multiplication at the end. We have negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. So we've done two multiplications. Time for division. Negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12, as we talked about. Now, at this stage, there's an interesting opportunity to make a mistake, and I do want to point it out. Some people would look at the 12 and the 5, and they'd add them to get 17, and then they apply the minus to it and say, oh, that's negative 17. That's not how it works, because we don't have 12 and 5. We have negative 12 and 5. So don't ever forget that negative in the front. You can't just ignore it. We can't just ignore the negative at the front and say, oh, it's 12 plus 5, 17 with a negative. No, it's negative 12 plus 5, which gets a very different answer. It gets negative 7, and then we also take away 6. Negative 7, take away 6 is negative 13, so answer C. Did you get that same result? Well, regardless, we're going to have one final difficult example to test out PEMDAS. That's the order we're going to stick to. That's the order we're going to do. Parentheses, brackets, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Now you need to memorize that and see if you can come up with it yourself without seeing it on screen. Pause the video and have a go at the question you can see on screen. It's really difficult. Okay, let's do it. Here's the PEMDAS acronym. And so we're going to start with the brackets. Notice on the right, there are two sets of brackets. There's an overall square bracket and there's an inner bracket. Always do the inner bracket first. So that's negative two, take away three. That's negative five. That's the only thing we did. We focused on the inner brackets first. That's actually quite an important point. Maybe I should have said at the start, but if there's two sets of brackets, like one within another, always start with the innermost brackets. Time to move on to the exponents because there's no more brackets that we can calculate because the inner brackets are negative two and negative five. There's nothing to calculate. We've got to move on to the exponents. So we have negative two squared and we have negative five squared. Notice another important opportunity to make a mistake. On the left, you see we have negative two squared, but there's a negative outside the bracket. Some people would multiply first, cancel out the negatives and just call it two squared. Why is that wrong? because we do exponents before multiplication. So we're gonna do the negative two squared before we multiply it by the negative on the outside. What is negative two squared? Well, negative two times itself is positive four. So positive four, but with the negative on the outside becomes negative four. Same thing on the right, negative five squared is negative five times itself, which gets you positive 25. Now that we've done the exponents, it's time to move on to multiplication. So 10 times 25 is 250, giving us negative nine, take away four, take away 250. You might wanna try this yourself, or of course you can use a calculator if you're doing the GRE, but either way we go quite deep into the negatives all the way down to negative 263. And I hope this video is giving you a clear structure on how to tackle these difficult order of operations questions. We follow PEMDAS, and we do it in that exact order. Don't get distracted by multiplications if you haven't yet done the exponents. And don't get distracted by subtractions if you haven't yet done division, for example.
And by the way, as a final bonus, if you now understand and enjoy this topic, order of operations, you can answer those annoying internet memes you see on Reddit or whatever, where they're asking, what does this sum come to? And you can be the person who always gets the answer right and your friends will be struggling.